I'm Kristen Z. For the past 14 years, through our Profiles of Excellence series, we've been featuring Bay Area residents who've made important contributions to their community. Today, we're at the Chinese Historical Society of America Museum and Learning Center in San Francisco's Chinatown to introduce you to five truly exceptional people. Our first profile has run San Bruno's Cahill Judo Academy for the past four decades. Professor Willie Cahill is head instructor at the judo school his father founded in 1948. In addition to teaching at the academy, he has also coached university teams at San Francisco State and Stanford, as well as U.S. teams at international competitions like the World Championships and the Paralympic and Olympic Games. Willie Cahill is a Bay Area legend. Over the past 35 years, his dojo has produced over a thousand champions of national and international competitions. His students have participated and excelled in tournaments across the globe. Ah, that's the way, that's the way. One of his more recent accolades comes from coaching a team of visually impaired athletes. The team competed in the 2000 Sydney, Australia Paralympic Games and emerged with the top honor. Scott Moore won the first United States gold medal in the history of Olympic and Paralympic judo. I didn't know how to coach blind kids, let alone take them to an international tournament. So I had to learn a lot of stuff myself. I had to talk to other coaches and try to decide, you know, how I'm going to do this. But we worked out together for a year and it was... When he got to Sydney, it was, it was like magic. These guys were ready to fight. The sport has been a family tradition. Willie Cahill grew up in Hawaii and learned the arts of judo and jujitsu from his father, John Cahill, who was an accomplished instructor on the island. Yeah, my dad was a, was a great man. He, he was a disciplinarian, but he wasn't, he wasn't pushy. The Cahills moved to California, and John Cahill opened up his own school in 1948 and named it Cahill's Judo Academy. When John passed away in 1962, his wife encouraged their son, Willie, to take over. The school has been offering classes for adults and youth at all skill levels. Today, the students keep coming. I have people who have taken Judo from me. Now their kids have taken Judo from me. And I even have grandparents who bring in their grandkids who started with me years ago. Though many of his former students, like State Senator Jackie Spear, have pursued other careers, several have pursued careers in coaching judo. These people who became champions here come back and give back to the school and give back to the students. There's a lot of people help these guys along, financially, emotionally. By bringing my legs up, close knee. Roe actually started judo under his father's. His father was a coach in uh, Redwood City. And we should compete against him. We were pretty, pretty good friends. So eventually Raul came over here and uh, yeah, he's outstanding. Now he's coaching uh, uh, Stanford University. See how I stopped his leg? Well, one of my students, Chris Chung, I tell you, he's, he's almost like an image of what I used to be. The way I used to teach and the way I used to coach. Now he's sort of taking my place and doing the same thing with the kids. He's teaching with discipline, but he's also having fun with the kids and they, I tell you, they, they love him. Keep sitting, keep sitting. To be a good coach, you have to be, you have to have an open mind, have to be able to okay. listen to other people, take advice. You want to make sure that your people you're teaching or people you're putting into this world are level-headed, not there to hurt somebody, not there to take advantage of somebody, not there to take cheap shots at it. Good job, buddy. As an inductee of the Black Belt Hall of Fame, Willie Cahill teaches a young person much more than how to throw an opponent. One of the important things that I like to see in our athletes, it's not, it's not so much about being a champion, but being a champion with character. If you don't have any character, then you're not going to function in life. Our thanks to Willie Cahill for his guidance and leadership.